All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today, we have probably one of the most generic fake cards you could ever make. You could ever make. It's like, well, we have blue eyes, we have red eyes, we have blue ultimate. Red eyes ultimate? <laughs> like, okay, I guess. Uh, I mean, your creativity is through the roof. Good good job. But, uh, no, no. This is an ultimate dragon. Uh, the card art is fantastic. Like, if Konami ever decided to create a Red Eyes Ultimate Dragon, I hope that they use this card art, because this card art is cool. Like, it's exactly what Red Eyes Ultimate Dragon would look like. Just, you know, red eyes, three heads, and the art is, it's nice. It's really nice. You know, this card would look great as, like, a secret rare. Like, it would look really cool as a secret rare. So, uh, let's go ahead and look at this card and determine, yeah, this is definitely what Red Eyes Ultimate would be, or nah, nah, that's not it. So, this is Red Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It is a dark level 11 so unlike blue eyes ultimate this level 12 this is only level 11 so one level less than blue eyes just like red eyes is one level less than blue eyes ah i see what you did there all right dragon fusion effect monster 4000 attack 3000 defense his stats are off they're off uh his stats should be what 3600 this should be 3600 because blue eyes ultimate is 4500 which is a blue eyes plus half of blue eyes so 4,500, so this should be 3,600. So it's a little bit on the strong end with attack, but I mean, if you're gonna bust this out, then I guess for having a 4,000 beater nowadays is not too out of the question when you got Chaos Max and Seven Sins and Dark Planet. So, you know, bust out a 4,000 beater <laughs> this day and age and you're going shit. Uh, but the interesting thing is, despite being, you know, three red eyes black dragons to get cleared by heart. It's not made with just three red eyes black dragons like Blue Eyes Ultimate. No, this is made with three red eyes monsters. So it could be any red eyes monster. As we know, red eyes has a ton of different red eyes monsters, so it does not have to be three red eyes black dragons, which makes it a lot easier. It really does. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the effect. So, must be special summon from your extract by banishing the above cards you control. You do not use Polly. Ah. See, now if I could use a little bit of Red Eyes Fusion with it, then maybe, maybe that would be enough incentive just to be like, Red Eyes Fusion, three monsters from my deck, bam, summon this 4,000 beater, attack you directly, half your life points, you know? But, I got a contact fuse with three Red Eyes monsters on my field. I mean, if you're playing a Red Eyes deck, you might get that out eventually, but, uh, I mean, at least it's just any Red Eyes monsters, and uh, at least you don't need to draw into the poly, which is... Uh, one of the reasons why the future mechanic is on the weaker end in comparison, you know, because the mechanics just get stronger and more convenient, you know. It's like, oh, well, first there's ritual. I mean, I'm going to go through the history of the summoning mechanics, and then you're going to see the, the convenience level get easier and easier. So first it was like ritual. All right, well, I need the ritual spell and the ritual monster, and I need to tribute the exact monsters in my hand. Man, that, that man, that's inconvenient, you know. Then... We go and move the card. Well, let's go ahead and move the monster to the to the extra deck. You know, you always have access to that monster. It's not like you have to draw into it or you know search it via ritual summon. You always have access to it, but now you gotta use this card, Polly, and you have to have the listed material. So we're gonna go ahead and fusion summon. You know, so fusion summon the two monsters, and then you bam, summon the monster from your extra deck. That's a little bit more convenient. And you, then you got the contact fusion, which I guess is. It's a little bit closer to the. I'd say close. No, no, no. It's a little bit less convenient than the, than the, than the synchro mechanic. You know, because you need like specific mon monsters to contact fuse. For example, gladiator beast. You know, I need the Bastari and a gladiator beast. I need these specific monsters. While uh, synchroing is very broad. Well, I do need a specific monster and a specific two specific monsters. It's a tuner and non-tuner. Some monsters are tuners, some monsters are non-tuners. The monsters are still in the extra deck. I always have access to it. I don't need poly. I don't need this fusion card. So I can just take a, a tuner, non-tuner, sync it out, bam, there's a synchro summon. Convenient, right? But no, we gotta take it a step further. Now, fuck the tuner and the non-tuner. Just have the same level. You have the same level, you can do some XC plays. The monsters in the extra deck, if two monsters are the same level, there's, they don't have to be the same type, they don't have to be, well, generally they don't have to be the same type, they don't have to be the same monster, they don't have to be the same nothing. You just get the same level out, and then slap those two monsters on each other, and, and bam, here's an XC summon. The ultimate level of convenience, it really is. And then Pendulum Summon, I don't know what the fuck they did there. Like, Pendulum Summon was when Konami decided to smoke that good ragweed, and it, it was all downhill from there, but uh, this is a contact reason, so. Uh, it's cool, you contact fuse, you don't need the poly, which is convenient. Uh, it's just three red-eyes monsters, so it doesn't even have to be three red-eyes black dragon. That's also good and convenient. Uh, over on that back card, it has one more effect. So, if this card is targeted by an effect, increase its attack by 1,000, then negate the effect. So, if you're targeted by a castell, negate, 
Uh, but it doesn't destroy the monster. You, you just negate it. You know, so if it's like a card that would fizzle after you negate it, then it goes away. Like, for example, I summon this, you compulse. That that targets me. I'm going to negate it. I, I go by 1,000 and negate it. Your compulse fizzles. But, for example, if you go into Castell, you detach two to try to spin me back to the, you know, the extra deck. You target me, I go by a thousand, I engage you, but I don't kill you, which is really odd. It's not very often that you see these kind of effects on monsters where it's like you negate the monster, but then you don't, you know, snap its neck after you're done. So, you know, Castell would still stay, but this course will go up by one thousand. But the interesting thing is, it has nothing, it says nothing about oh, to the underturn or nothing. So, every time you get targeted by something, you increase your attack by one thousand. So, you compose me. I'm 5,000. You cast on me? I'm 6,000. I'm 7,000. 8,000. 9,000. You know? But I, I, I don't think your opponent would keep on targeting you, uh, if at all, you know? Like, they would just pick up the card, read it, and be like, okay, well, I can't deal with you with targeting. Oh, wow, well, I can't cast you? Man, how am I going to kill this Red Eyes Ultimate Dragon? I can't target it. Oh, right. Utopia the Lightning. Bye. <laughs> so, mm, this is not terrible. Not terrible. It's just, there's not too many targeting uh, in this day and age, I guess Keating targets, but I don't know. Outside of that, uh, it's more of a don't really target format. But uh, maybe with Cosmo stepping it back a little bit after they hit off the ban list, maybe we'll see a little bit more targeting. But overall, not terrible. So um, this card, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. And like I said, the card art's awesome. I mean, is it really Red Eyes Ultimate Dragon? I mean, I guess. But like I said, it's just three Red Eyes monsters instead of just. Uh, Instead of three red eyes black dragons, so it, it, it's not like blue eyes ultimate dragon. Uh, but with that, it's not a terrible card. If Konami decided to make it a real card, I maybe maybe one in the extra deck just in case that it, the situation ever arises. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't know how flexible the red eyes uh, extra deck is. I haven't really looked at it in a cool minute. The red eyes deck, but maybe they have enough flexibility to just play one of those since they're not playing, you know, the fusions and their flare and all of that stuff. So. Uh, overall, not a terrible card. That's all I have to say about that. So, uh, tell me what you guys think about this fake card, Red Eyes Ultimate Dragon, in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Of course, we'll be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.